Exodus chapter 7 And the Lord said to Moses See I make you as God to Pharaoh and Aaron your brother shall be your prophet you shall speak all that I command you and Aaron your brother shall tell Pharaoh to let the people of Israel go out of his land but I will harden Pharaoh's heart and though I multiply my signs and wonders in the land of Egypt Pharaoh will not listen to you then I will lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth my host my people the son of Israel out of the land of Egypt by great acts of judgment and the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I stretch forth my hand upon Egypt and bring out the people of Israel from among them and Moses and Aaron did so they did as the Lord commanded them now Moses was 80 years old and Aaron 83 years old when they spoke to Pharaoh Aaron's miraculous rod and the Lord said to Moses and Aaron when Pharaoh says to you prove yourself by working a miracle then you shall say to Aaron take your rod and cast it down before Pharaoh that it may become a serpent so Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and did as the Lord commanded Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and his servants and it became a serpent then Pharaoh summoned the wise men and the sorcerers and they also the magicians of Egypt did the same by their secret arts for every man cast down his rod and they became serpents but Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods still Pharaoh's heart was hardened and he would not listen to them as the Lord had said the first plague water turned to blood then the Lord said to Moses Pharaoh's heart is hardened he refuses to let the people go go to pharaoh in the morning as he is going out to the water wait for him by the river's brink and take in your hand the rod which was turned into a serpent and you shall say to him the lord the god of the hebrews sent me to you saying let my people go that they may serve me in the wilderness and behold you have not yet obeyed thus says the lord by this you shall know that i am the lord behold i will strike the water that is in the nile with the rod that is in my hand and it shall be turned to blood and the fish in the nile shall die and the nile become shall become foul and the egyptians will load to drink water from the nile and the lord said to moses say to aaron take your rod and stretch out your hand over the waters of egypt over their rivers their canals and their ponds and all their pools of water that they may become blood and there shall be blood throughout all the egypt land of egypt both in vessels of wood and in vessels of stone Moses and Aaron did as the Lord commanded in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of his servants he lifted up the rod and struck the water that was in the Nile and all the water that was in the Nile turned to blood and the fish in the Nile died and the Nile became foul so that Egyptians could not drink water from the Nile and there was blood throughout all the land of Egypt but the magicians of Egypt did the same by their secret arts so Pharaoh's heart remained hardened and he would not listen to them as the Lord had said Pharaoh turned and went into his house and he did not lay even this to heart 
and all the Egyptians dug ground about the Nile for water to drink, for they could not drink the water of the Nile. The second plague, frogs. Seven days passed after the Lord had struck the Nile. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go into Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. But if you refuse to let them go, behold, I will plague all your country with frogs. The Nile shall swarm with frogs, which shall come up into your house and into your bedchamber and on your bed and into the houses of your servants and of your people and into your ovens and your netting bowls. The frogs shall come up on you and on your people and on all your servants. And the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your hand with your rod over the rivers, over the canals and over the pools, and cause frogs to come upon the land of Egypt. So Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. But the magicians did the same by their secret arts, and brought frogs upon the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron, and said, Entreat the Lord to take away the frogs from me and from my people and I will let the people go to sacrifice to the Lord. Moses said to Pharaoh, Be pleased to command me when I am to entreat for you and for your servants and for your people, that the frogs be destroyed from you and your houses, and be left only in the night. And he said, Tomorrow. Moses said, Be it as you say that you may know that there is no one like the Lord our God. The frogs shall depart from you and your houses and your servants and your people. They shall be left only in the Nile. So Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh, and Moses cried to the Lord concerning the frogs, as he had agreed with Pharaoh. And the Lord did according to the word of Moses. The frogs died out of the houses and courtyards and out of the fields, and they gathered them together in heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was a respite, he hardened his heart and would not listen to them, as the Lord had said. The third plague, gnats. Then the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your rod and strike the dust of the earth that it may become gnats throughout all the land of Egypt and they did so Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod and struck the dust of the earth and there came gnats on man and beast all the dust of the earth became gnats throughout all the land of Egypt the magicians tried by their secret arts to bring forth gnats, but they could not. So there were gnats on man and beast. And the magician said to Pharaoh, This is the finger of God. But Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them, as the Lord had said. The fourth plague, flies. Then the Lord said to Moses, Rise up early in the morning and wait for Pharaoh as he goes out to the water and say to him, Thus says the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else, if you will not let my people go, behold, I will send swarms of flies on you and your servants and your people and into your houses, and the houses of the Egyptians shall be filled with swarms of flies, and also the ground on which they stand. But on that day I will set apart 
in the land of Goshen, where my people dwell, so that no swarms of flies shall be there, that you may know that I am the Lord in the midst of the earth. Thus I will put a division between my people and your people. By tomorrow shall this sign be. And the Lord did so. There came great swarms of flies into the house of house of Pharaoh and into the servants' houses. And in all the land of Egypt, the land was ruined by reason of the flies. Then Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron and said, "Go, sacrifice to your God within the land." But Moses said. It would not be right to do so for we shall sacrifice to the Lord our God offerings abominable to the Egyptians if we sacrifice offerings abominable to the Egyptians before they rise will they not stone us we must go 3 days journey into the wilderness and sacrifice to the Lord our God as he will command us so Pharaoh said I will let you go to sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness only you shall not go very far away make entreaty for me then Moses said behold I am going out from you and I will pray to the Lord that the swarms of flies may depart from Pharaoh from his servants and from his people tomorrow only let not pharaoh deal falsely again by not letting the people go to sacrifice to the lord so moses went out from pharaoh and prayed to the lord and the lord did as moses asked and removed the swarms of flies from pharaoh from his servants and from his people not one not one remained but pharaoh hardened his heart this time also and did not let the people go